Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the wavy shuttle to create beautiful designs in your weaving. Welcome all you fiber artists. If you want to go directly to the tutorial, check the timestamp below. For the rest of you, I want to start having a little bit more fun. The reason I started this is because I love fiber community, how much I've learned from my friends and how much we can share with each other. Then that got broader with Instagram and learning things from people there. And then it became all of this. So I thought we need to have a little bit more fun. And for the people that are joining me just to get the tutorial information, um, I will always timestamp that right in the beginning so you can go directly there because I know what it's like when you need to learn how to do something and you're like, give me that information. I don't want to hear you talking. But for the rest of you, fiber artists that just want to have fun and share stuff, here we are. So here's the cool thing I want to share with you. I was visiting my parents in Wichita in March and I showed them the Scottish spindle, the Jolligan. And my stepdad, Bill Pruitt, is a woodworker, magnificent woodworker. He's been making beautiful toys for all the family members and beautiful jewelry boxes, as you can see up there on the right. Well, one day I get a package in the mail, tons of Jolligan spindles and a drop spindle. And I'm just gonna let you take a little bit closer look at these. See all the different designs. He did the research and he made them all different ways. So now I can do sample spins on them and just see what's different. The different weights, the different styles. And um, I think I'm just gonna have a whole lot of fun looking at them. So I wanted to share that with you because isn't that a great thing? So pretty fun. And this is a heavier drop spindle than I have. So this is gonna be great for the art yarn. And he made this and so pretty awesome. So the other thing I wanna share with you and the whole world is that it is time for all of us to share. So I have put a special section on my website, rehashfiber.com for anybody who's interested in sharing their farm, their business, their products that they make. If you have any way far out fiber adventures, it doesn't have to be way far out, a fiber adventure, and your group. Now, I would appreciate learning about anything. And once there's something that um, would be a potential show, then we would just go into more discussion about that and work out all the details. But go to the website there because if you have something or somebody that you know or that you yourself wanna share, now's the time because we are just going to create this community and make it even better. Also, if you make products or have products that you want, on the show, you can send them, and uh, we do not return them, so we thank you very much, but we will talk about it. I cannot guarantee how much airtime it will get. It will get talked about, and you never know. Your, my, your item might end up being an entire show. However, in the end, you will have a rehash fiber show that your item is in, and that may work for you somehow. So, all right, everybody. It's so much fun and I just can't wait to start meeting more people and just doing more and we can all be more involved together. My communication line is always open. You can always email me at rehashfiber at outlook.com or you can contact me right through the website rehashfiber.com and I look forward to talking to you and just starting new relationships. All right, so let's get on with learning how to use the wavy shuttle to make really cool designs. To make the wave in your rigid heddle weaving, you need a wavy shuttle. This one is an Ashford. I believe I got it from the Woolery. I get a ton of stuff from there. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. Now, I am not using it as a shuttle. I tried it that way and I just didn't like it. So I use regular shuttle to send the yarn through and then I use this to position it in the wave. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So I brought the next row of yarn through the shed and now we're gonna use the wavy shuttle and I'm alternating 
between the small waves and the big waves. So this is a small wave round and it's pretty cool. You just gently tap it down and get the wave going. Now I have really sticky yarn because it's 100% wool and it's constantly sticking on each other. So I just use a lot of patience and just get it in place. Do you see how fun that is? Creates that nice variety. I love it. All right, to do the next round. <laughs> yeah, make sure these aren't sticking. Send the shuttle through again. All right. Now, the second one, I'm just gonna line it up so that my waves match the previous wave. And what I'm doing is just sets of five because what I'm wanting from this, this is a potential rug. I don't know if it's gonna be thick enough. But I'm just alternating waves and straight lines. Small waves and big waves. I'm back to small. Okay, make sure it's lined up. Get it tamped into place. And that's the second row. You can do whatever variety you want. You can have a thick weft yarn so that it will show more. You can vary up your waves any way you want. I just showed you the very basic how to get them in an alignment. And it's just really fun having variety when you're working with the rigid head of loom, just to see all the different things you can do with it. I showed you the little wave before, now I wanted you to get the opportunity to see the big wave. It doesn't look a whole lot different on this, but I wanted to show it to you. So you can see I've alternated five rows small wave, five rows straight across, five rows big wave. That's what I've done throughout just to make it more interesting. There you have it, the big wave. My little rug is all finished. You can see the waves are very subtle and that's what I was going for in this project. I just wanted something to make it a little bit different. But know that when you use that wavy shuttle, you can do it as pronounced as you want. You can spread them out as much as you want. Use thick yarn. You can play with it and have a whole lot of fun. Now I'm just gonna find a backing for this rug so that it won't slip on the floor and there we have it, nice little rug. Okay, fiber artists, if you're enjoying this show, I invite you to join Patreon. That is you helping supporting the show. So if you go to the website, rehashfiber.com, there is a supporting member section, and for as little as $3 a month, you help with the whole production of the show and keep it going. And I am just working on getting you as much great information, just one fiber artist to another. I'm no professional, I'm no super teacher, I'm just sharing everything that I learn and see. And I constantly explore new things and I share it with you. So anyway, I sure appreciate it if you join Patreon. Once you're on there, you get some behind the scenes information, some little extras, um, so I just really appreciate your support. Also, rehash fiber merchandise, all kinds of it. You can put it on water bottles, mugs, and aprons, shirts. It's my logo and it's also got give you. So you can check that out. So I really appreciate you being here today. Happy weaving and thanks for watching.